In this video, we will be demonstrating how to associate a static URL or what Amazon calls an elastic IP address to your EC2 instance. An elastic IP address is a public address that stays bound to your EC2 instance over time. So if you don't have an elastic IP address associated with your instance, then when your instance is rebooted, for example, it will get assigned another public IP address and it will just be constantly changing over time. If you're using AWS Route 53 for domain registration or domain management, then you'll need an elastic IP address so that you can subsequently instruct AWS what IP address to route traffic to that comes into your domain name. So I'll be releasing a later video that covers this step in depth um, in terms of how to route traffic to your domain um, from AWS. Additionally, I have a video that's already been published that shows how to register your domain with AWS if you are interested in that. Now the only prerequisite to this video, which is going to be showing you how to associate an elastic IP with your instance, is that you have an EC2 instance available to you already. So if you don't already have that set up, check out my earlier video on how to create an EC2 instance in AWS. All right, so the first step here is that we get logged into our AWS console. So I'm here on the home page now. If you're elsewhere, you can get to the home page by clicking on this cube button over here on the left. All right, and we're going to go to EC2. And here we can look at elastic IP addresses with this quick link here, or it will also be on the left under network and security, elastic IPs. So let's just go there. So I already have one available to me uh, located here, but to create a new one, you would just click on this allocate new address button. And then you would simply click the allocate button. So I'm not going to click it because I don't need another elastic IP address, but that's the only step for actually allocating the new address. Now, once it's allocated, it will show up here in this table and you can associate it with your instance by highlighting the record of your elastic IP address in the table, clicking actions and then associate address. And from here, you are going to define whether your resource type is an instance or a network interface. So if you have an EC2 instance, then you're going to select this instance radio box. And then you would select from the dropdown your available instances to choose from to associate this elastic IP to. And then your private IP address associated with your instance is going to get populated here automatically after you choose your instance from the dropdown and then you click the associate button and at that point if you navigate back to your ec2 instance by going to the ec2 dashboard go to your instances and you will see down in the description settings for your ec2 instance your ipv4 public ip address should be the elastic ip address from the previous section and that's all there is to it for associating an elastic IP address to your running instance. Like I said, if you are interested in having a domain registered with AWS, I've already got a video that shows how to do that, but in a video that I'll release later, I'm going to show how to actually tell AWS to route traffic to your elastic IP address that comes in for your registered domain. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. Thanks for watching.